Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lara from the blog artwillyhouse.com and today I'm gonna to talk about three different ways to make hair toner at home. toner is a product that you put on your hair after you've had it colored or highlighted. Most common when you dye your hair a lighter color and it can, it doesn't change the overall color of your hair but it will change the undertone. So if you have a little bit of a brassy color or even a grayish tint, sometimes you can put a toner in there to kind of change that undertone. I like to do a lot of my own hair care at home and I've had lots of requests for a hair toner and even a spray that can lighten your hair. So today I'm gonna to share with you a few different recipes that you can use at home with ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen. So this first recipe is a baking soda shampoo. And for this you need baking soda, shampoo, and food dyes. You need a purple and a blue food dye. Now I have a natural food dye that I use that's really safe for the skin, and I will link that down in my description box below. For the shampoo, you wanna be sure that it is a sulfate-free shampoo or else this recipe will not work. So to make this, you're just gonna put the amount of shampoo that you use to wash your hair in a bowl, add in a teaspoon of baking soda and a drop, couple drops each of the blue and purple food dye. Then you're just going to stir it up to make sure all your ingredients are mixed together. And then when you go to apply it to the hair, you just apply it like a normal shampoo. Be sure to cover every area of the hair and then allow it to sit in your hair to change that undertone. After you allow it to sit for about 15 minutes to an hour, depending on the color you're going for, you're just going to rinse it out. For the second homemade spray, we are using a spray bottle. All we're gonna do is put equal parts of water and apple cider vinegar in the spray bottle. And then you're just going to shake it up and this one is ready to go. You're going to spray the hair generously with this. You wanna make sure your hair is damp before you spray it. And then you're just gonna spray it Again, make sure you have every part of the hair covered from root to tip. Allow it to sit in there and then rinse it out. Okay, so for the third recipe, this is using conditioner and lemons. Now you can use fresh lemons from the store. If you have them, if you don't, you can use lemon juice. You're gonna need three lemons for this recipe. If you don't have lemons, you can just use lemon juice. You're going to put about a quarter of a cup of conditioner in a bowl, add in your lemon juice, stir it up, and then again, we're just going to apply this to the hair like you would the conditioner, rub it in. You can even use a comb to make sure that you're getting every piece of hair and then let it, allow it to sit and then rinse it out. Lemon can lighten the hair naturally, so especially if you put it in and then you go out in the sun, it can help lighten your hair. So you can use this one to help lighten the hair or as a hair toner. Now with all of these hair toners, it is best to apply them whenever your hair is damp. Allow it to sit in there and then rinse it out. Now a lot of these ingredients are not great for the hair like baking soda, apple cider vinegar, and that lemon juice. They can be very drying to the hair. It's okay for occasional use. These are not creams and sprays that you're gonna wanna be using daily on your hair, which you don't use hair toner that often either. It's more something that you use after you color your hair or about every six to eight weeks. So also with that being said, hair toner is not going to work on your hair if you've never had it colored or if it's your natural color. So it's only something that works after you have your hair colored. That's when you use a hair toner. So that is it guys, super simple, three recipes that you can use at home to make a natural, inexpensive hair toner. If you are new to my channel, be sure to check out my description box. I'll have the recipes down there and anything I use linked down there. And I also have several eBooks and a free class. If you want some more education on essential oils, I share lots of homemade recipes and DIY products and if you're new here please hit that subscribe button I get out new videos every week and I would love for you to stick around so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one